Hi, I'm Marshall Brain, and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about two things. First, we're going to talk about the obesity problem in America in 2010. And second, we're going to talk about my personal attempt to end my personal obesity problem, which is something called the Ducan Diet. This article points out that roughly two-thirds of Americans are either overweight or obese in 2010. The official figure is 63.1%. This second article points out that Americans are spending billions of dollars every year on the attempt to not be obese. We spend it on dieting books, dieting pills, DVDs, exercise equipment, gym memberships, all kinds of stuff. None of it really seems to be working. Last year, the editor of a famous fashion magazine in America called Vogue Magazine got on a famous TV show called 60 Minutes, and she made this kind of notorious statement where she compared Americans to little houses. But the problem is that she's right. If you were a time traveler from the future and you came back to 2010 America and you went to any public place, you would be startled by how fat Americans are. These are photographs of random, totally normal people I took walking by in a public place over the July 4th weekend in 2010. Since two-thirds of adults are overweight or obese, most of the people you see are fat. And just to be fair, I am no better. This is a picture of me and the kids, and in this picture, I'm about 50 pounds overweight. Look at that stomach. I mean, that is just embarrassing, and that's all blubber. It's pure fat that I've put on over the years by eating too much. I don't want to look like this. I don't want the health problems or the clothing problems. It's just nasty. So this year, I decided I was going to solve this problem, and I started something called the Ducan Diet. There are a lot of different diet programs. Like I went to this website called everydiet.com and they list almost 500 different diets that people have tried. And in America at any given moment, more than half of all Americans are on one of these diets trying to lose weight. I've tried a lot of them. But this thing called the Ducan diet was the first one that's actually worked for me in any significant way. Like many diets, the Ducan diet has phases, and in the case of the Ducan diet, there are four phases. The first phase is called the attack phase. It typically lasts about five days, and it's to get you started with a quick loss of weight. Then phase two is called the cruise phase, and this could last for months depending on how much weight you're trying to lose. In this, you're trying to get down to your target weight. Then there's phase three, the consolidation phase, where you just try to stay at your target weight for several months. And then finally, there's the stabilization phase, where you go back to eating more or less normally for the rest of your life. So here are the rules for phase one. You can eat basically as much low-fat protein as you like. And this is going to be things like chicken and fish and cottage cheese and yogurt and tofu and whatever else. If it's high in protein, low in fat, you can eat as much as you want. And the thing is, you can only eat so much protein in a day before you just get sick of it. So you are going to be eating this protein. You're also going to eat one and a half tablespoons of oat bran, which you can either mix into something or eat plain. And you're going to drink plenty of water so that you stay hydrated. And you're going to have a dry mouth during this phase. So you're going to naturally be drinking a lot of water. Phase one is actually incredibly interesting because you learn something important during this phase. So first of all, you're going to lose between 5 and 10 pounds, which is amazing from a, a weight loss perspective. I lost 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilograms in 5 days, which was startling. It was incredibly relieving just to lose that much weight. My clothes fit better. It was nice. Now, a lot of that was water, and you know this because you pee like a river during phase 1. You're just losing water. It wakes you up at night and stuff. So, you know, a lot of it is water, but that's okay because you're going to keep that water off. But the thing that's so amazing, especially in the first couple days, is the intense, unbelievable cravings for carbohydrates that you're going to have. I mean, most Americans are used to eating pizza and french fries and potato chips and cookies and cake and ice cream and all this carbohydrate-rich food, more or less, whenever you feel like it. And, you know, most Americans do. That's why we're obese. But 
you know, when you cut that out and you just eat protein, you are starving for carbohydrates. It's amazing. But then over a couple of days, you lose those cravings and all the hunger pangs go away with it. And once you lose the hunger pangs, you don't need to eat nearly as much and weight loss suddenly becomes a lot easier. It turns out it like it's like these carbohydrates are addictive. And once you break that addiction over a couple of days, things get much, much easier. If phase one goes as planned and you really lose a, you know, a nice amount of weight like that, then rolling into phase two is really easy. But phase two is kind of a slog. Like in my case, I started at 227 pounds and I need to be down to somewhere in the 180s. I'd love to be at 175. So I need to lose like 50 pounds and you can lose roughly two to three pounds a week if you're sticking with the program here. So it's going to take, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks, a couple or three or four months. And if you need to lose more weight, it could, you know, it could stretch up to a year potentially. So in this phase, what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to eat as much protein as you like, and you're allowed to eat as many vegetables as you like. And we're talking like green, good vegetables here, things like broccoli and green beans and spinach and salads and, you know, not not potatoes or corn. Those aren't vegetables as far as the Ducan diet is concerned. We're talking low calorie, greenish, leafyish kind of vegetables. So you eat as much of that as you want. You eat two tablespoons of oat bran every day and you drink plenty of water. And you also you're walking and you're walking in phase one as well. But uh, in phase two, you're trying to walk 30 minutes every day at least. And in this phase, the, you know, you really do lose that two or three pounds every week as long as you don't commit any transgressions. And that's kind of the hard part of this whole thing where, you know, you still see food around you, things like cookies or pizza or whatever, and you have to be very, very dedicated to not eat stuff. Now, it's turned out I'm pretty good at avoiding carbohydrates. I'm, I'm able to respect the protein only thing, the vegetables only thing. But when we go to a party or, you know, we go to dinner at a neighbor's house, it's, it's hard. I tend to overeat. And I've also learned through this whole dieting process that I have a major weakness when it comes to nuts, things like almonds or cashews or pecans or walnuts. I, I have a lot of trouble controlling my nut consumption. So it's it's hard. You have to you really have to be disciplined and and dedicated to make this thing work. But it really can work even with my problems and transgressions. You can see in this graph that over the course of 10 weeks I've actually lost a fair amount of weight. I've gone from 227 down to around 195 pounds and that's amazing. Like I said, this is the first time I've tried to lose weight and had it actually work this successfully. And you can see it's a really kind of straight line curve. It, it's very uh, consistent from week to week without any kind of plateaus or anything like that. It's my great hope that I can hold it together for another 8 to 10 weeks and get down to 175 pounds. And if I can, that would be fantastic. Once I do that, then I would enter phase three, where I get to eat a few carbs. And basically the goal here is to just maintain your weight for several months to prove that you can do it. And then you start living your normal life after that in phase four. So if you're a person living in the here and now and looking at my experiences, I would highly recommend the Ducan diet. It's worked really well for me so far. And I've been surprised at how well it's worked. But if you try it and it doesn't work for you, I would encourage you to find some other diet. Just try another one and find one that works because I feel so much better having lost this weight and so much more uh, agile and my clothes fit so much better. And I feel healthier. I, I would highly recommend losing weight using whatever technique it takes for you to do that. If you're looking back on this video from 50 years hence, I'm sure you think that what we're doing in 2010 is nuts because... Surely someone has invented a pill or, or something so that you don't have to worry about obesity anymore. But in 2010, it's a huge problem. You can see all the hoops I'm jumping through trying to lose weight. It's, it's a big problem. 
And keep in mind, I am not alone in this. Two-thirds of American adults are overweight or obese in 2010. It really is something we are all struggling with in America.